but let's go ahead and let's test our lifeboats. And it is released. Oh, okay. Well, anyone that was in the lifeboat is now in the ocean. So that's unfortunate. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back in Floating Sandbox, and I'm going to be continuing the Build-A-Ship series. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So today we're going to be covering three things. We're going to be getting the lifeboat system done, which is something a lot of people have wanted to see for a while. So thank you to those that left comments about that. Next, we're going to be building an indoor swimming pool, so that'll be pretty cool. I know that has also been a very popular suggestion so far. Now lastly, we're going to build a kitchen because we haven't gotten to that yet, and some of you have actually suggested that. So let's go ahead and let's get building. All right, so here we are back in the ship builder, and uh, yeah, we've gotten a lot of the ship done but uh, there's still a lot more to do now I think let's go ahead and start out with the swimming pool now the area we're gonna build it in is just here now the material I need to look for is something that's similar to tiles usually in a pool room you would find a bunch of porcelain tiles so let's look for something that resembles that now my first thought would actually be Legos mainly because they're rectangular you know what that doesn't look half bad that actually looks like uh, tiles. Now I'm going to add in a line of blue tiles. I think that looks a bit better than just having a bunch of white tiles going all the way from floor to ceiling. Now it's time to build the actual pool itself. So let's see how we're going to do this. So I'm going to do something like this. And I guess we'll fill it back in with the uh, Lego material. Or in our instance, it's going to be uh, tiles. Now I think another thing I'm going to add in is a changing room or changing stall. Because I believe a lot of um, swimming pool or public swimming pool areas will have that. Especially on these older ships. And then the last thing I'm going to do is add in some portholes. Because we are still above the waterline in this part of the ship. Alright, we can now move on to the kitchen. So I'm going to add in a bunch of stoves, prepping tables, and uh, some other stuff. And I'm also going to add in a walk-in freezer because um, I feel that would be a nice touch to uh, add for detail. I'm going to add some icicles hanging from the ceiling. And now I'm going to make the rest of the room fiberglass because it looks like a uh, shiny sort of metal as if it was frozen over. And lastly, I'm going to add some hanging storage for pots and pans. All right, so there we go. We got the pool and the kitchen built. Now on to the lifeboats. Now, somebody mentioned gantry davits, so let's give it a shot. Now, I've actually never built a gantry davit, so this should be fun. I guess we're just going to reference um, Britannic. I think that's one of the most popular ships with gantry davits. So, uh, yeah, we'll use that as a reference. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now just to build it again. And I can just use the copy and paste tool, so there we are. Now, of course, we've got to add some sort of control room for this, so um, I'll build it off to the side. Something like that'll work. Now, for sake of simplicity, I'm going to just build in one lifeboat for this davit here. And I'll detail it a little bit. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and add in another one right at the well deck, so let's build that in. All right, there we go. Just going to clean this up a little bit. I don't know. You let me know what you think about these gantry davits and lifeboats, and we'll see if we'll stick with them. I actually do like them. They look pretty cool. But you know what? Maybe we can fit another lifeboat onto this. And yes, we can. Awesome. I was worried there was going to be an issue there with uh, one boat clipping into another, but we got it. Now, one thing to keep in mind, we have actually shifted the center of gravity, and you'll see here. Luckily, we only have a one degree trim, so that's good. That's nothing chaotic. But we've got to keep it in mind. All right, here's the ship. We've got our pool, our kitchen, and the lifeboats. And now, why don't we have a boiler explosion? Because, um, I don't know. I can't really think of anything else. So, yeah, let's see what happens. All right, here we go in three, two, one. And there it is. Wow. Now, that compartment has uh, become completely flooded at this point. Mainly because an entire boiler just exploded in there. But, um, looks like it might not sink. And that's because the buoyancy is, um keeping the ship afloat and not letting any more water in. However, I have a solution to that. There we go. But let's go ahead and let's test our lifeboats. And it is released. Oh, okay. Well, anyone that was in the lifeboat is now in the ocean. So that's unfortunate. There we go. Look at that. It works. Okay. It might not work super well. Okay, it's failed. But luckily, we have another one. And it is released. It's in the water. And that one has worked. All right, it looks like the very stern of the ship 
is now starting to go under. While that's happening, I'm going to go back to the boiler room. And I'm going to slowly start removing some of these supports. Now my question is, what if I did this? Well then, the double bottom seems to be holding. Oh, look at this. We've got water flooding down the ventilation into the other boiler room. All right, so at this point, the ship is uh, really starting to go down. You can visually see it dropping under the waves from this distance. And we are about to see the main staircase dome implode and water pour in. There it is. And yep, it is really flooding now. All right, it looks like the cargo hatches are now going under. There we go. That's going to let in a lot of water. And going back down to the stern, it just hit bottom. However, let's uh, try something real quick. Let's just break this. It's starting to fail. And yeah, I think this is going to be the end of it. Or actually, no. Holy cow, I just split the ship almost completely in two. Oh, nope, never mind. There it goes. It is about to collide into the seafloor. And there it is. There we go. Now, while it's doing that, why don't we just uh, destroy it? Yep, here we go. There go the lifeboats, and uh, the ship is disintegrated. Holy cow, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Um, well then. That was pretty interesting. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.